Good morning, folks. Feels a bit like the calm before the storm here, like that deep, slow exhale that Jordan had at the foul line before his free throw. We can see that solar flaring is very low here on the GOES X-ray flux, and there isn't much that can change that today. Spots are small, with our only hope being a set of new spots coming in on the north now. Their bright umbral fields were seen cresting the limb all day yesterday. The solar wind is showing some speed and temperature variability, but without much disruption in the stream itself, and Earth is all calm above our heads. Despite major planetary geometry, our primary earthquake factor, coronal holes, offer only a tiny dark circle in the middle and it has very weak power, no large seismicity to be seen thus far. The real solar watch today is filamentary. The thin dark ropes around the tiny coronal hole are plasma filaments and are directly facing Earth today. Any eruptions could be geo-effective. For the third day in a row, Pluto takes the top new spot. This is about as good as it gets. We can see how fascinating the geology is and how much it looks like Mars. Over the coming days, we will be seeing processed versions of these images and others from the mission. Should make for a good deeper look episode one day. Good one posted last night, too. Sticking with satellite missions, we are one month from the perihelion of 67P. Rosetta and hopefully the lander should get a front row seat for an increase in cometary activity. Typhoon in the West Pacific will hit Japan tomorrow and it's going to get rough. It's slated to make landfall and then just sort of stall out right on top of the region. Best wishes going that way. Just east of that, a smaller storm is getting itself together for a charge westward with some of the best penumbral ridges I've seen on an Earth spot in a long time. Of the two storms in the eastern Pacific, the one near Mexico is the main concern. We'll watch it closely over the coming days. Luckily, we see a weaker storm heading for eastern Canada there. Should be mostly a rain event, but a big one. In the United States, we'll have two areas on alert. One in the southeast where the Gulf moisture will bring the energy in and mix a bit with colder air that will come down from the north. Also to the west of that we see a low in convergence that will strengthen and shift slightly tonight for a central U.S. up into the Midwest alert zone. Europe hasn't seen much from these tiny lows here, but if they take effect on the larger flows, it's going to get rough for everyone nearby. Meanwhile, when we wind up down under, See that same convergence at New Zealand? And with a low developing in southeastern Australia, not much doing yet, but not ready to ignore them. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.